in this film we will be traveling with the time in the future. No, traveling with the time in. No, one more time. In this film, we will be traveling with a time in Athens, a city focused on the future whilst embracing its past. The world has love for Greek food. It's packed with freshness and good ingredients. I have probably one of the most loved Greek foods here. It's called Spanakopita. It's fresh pastry packed with feta cheese and spinach. They usually have it for breakfast or something what you call the mid-lunch between breakfast and lunch. There is food revolution going on in Greece. It's some of the best foods you will find on the streets. Like, this pastry is really, really fresh and good. Kebabs. Served traditionally in a pita bread. You have a choice whether you want pork or chicken. I've gone with pork. It's got random chips in, which is unusual, but very, very tasty. In the markets, there's an abundance of fruits, nuts, cheese, halva. I feel like I'm in my element here. Actually, we didn't see halva in Turkey. We have it in Bulgaria, but we haven't seen it in Turkey. Sesame halva is popular in the Balkans, the Middle East, and other areas in the Mediterranean. The handmade traditional Greek halva is made from tahini, vegetable oil, other different textures and flavors like nuts, cocoa, vanilla. We've got the vanilla one. And I have tried halva because we have it in Bulgaria, but Polly has never tried it. And I'm excited to see what his reaction would be. First time. Okay, so it's quite a weird texture for me. It's crunchy, but soft, which makes no sense. It's all right. It's a bit weird, but it's all right. Symbol of peace, prosperity, luck, fertility, love, victory. No fruit bearing tree is praised, sung and painted more than the olive tree in Greece. And it truly deserves the honor. The average price is about five euros per kilo. There was so much choice, so we decided just to get a, like a pick and mix bag full of olives. Oh, I love olives. Nicer with a glass of red wine. These are delicious, especially this one. Wow. We have Diples and Kurobie. They're both traditional for Christmas. Diples means raw. It's all prepared with uh, extra virgin olive oil and sugar syrup and there is some nuts on top of it and kurabi is something probably similar to the shortbread but covered in icing sugar and it has almonds inside I believe. <laughs> Sorry Nelly, what's this one? Tipless. Tipless. I didn't hear the crunch, I expected it to be crunchy. It's a little bit crunchy, not super crunchy. It's like a really, it's like a thick phyto pastry, very sweet, very tasty. Nelly just said this is like shortbread, which I really love, so I hope it is. Mm. Wow. Shortbread, marzipan, nuts. It's quite dry, but it would go amazing with a nice cup of coffee. It's time to have a coffee and something very traditional that Greeks usually have in the morning. Ugatsa. It's a sweet and creamy custard pie, usually dusted with icing sugar and cinnamon. It tastes like a little bit like a flan inside and its savory version is usually filled with cheese and meat. Athens food scene goes well beyond olives and bread. Immigrants from Egypt, Turkey, Lebanon and Syria combine their recipes with Greek ingredients and create an infusion of flavors. The city's chefs have developed new genres of gourmet Greek cuisine with influences from across the East and Mediterranean. Prices vary from less than 10 euros to more than 50 euros per person. A beer is around 4 to 5 euros and street food is as low as 5 to 10 euros. Barbakios Agra is an indoor and outdoor food market that delights the senses. The atmosphere here is unlike any other as travelers and locals traverse the narrow aisles lined with hanging meat carcasses, stalls of Greek delights and fresh seafood eyes down in vibrant displays. Greek vendors blow out their best deals in an attempt to sell their products from around the country. There's a fresh margarita bar and a noisa bar and ceviche bar. I mean, it couldn't get any fresher than this. It makes me want to grab a saucepan and start cooking. When we kiss and make up, she be getting paper. Me like it. Girl, body so tight. Gonna be a long night. 
whose table pata is a soup made with pig's offal served at the hotel pata joins across the city. It's cheap and cheerful. Oh, one drink is a morning glory at some break and comes with nightlife medicine guarantee. <laughs> We have garlic vinegar, chili flakes, easy on this because this is quite spicy. Comes with freshly baked bread. If you've never had pata before, you would need to come to these devoted stores as you can't afford to spoil this taste. If you'd like to romanticize your stay in Athens, Plaka neighborhood is one of the cutest little neighborhoods and you can enjoy a home-cooked meal right from the cobbled streets. Munostiraki is a bustling neighborhood with rooftop bars, ancient sites and vibrant markets. The flea market attracts hundreds of bargain hunters daily and you can find goods from all different eras. You're going to squeeze through pedestrian alleys, stare through the windows of Greek finely displayed handicrafts and empty your wallet. Bring around a rosy, pockets full like OD. I can move just how I move cause don't nobody know me. Low key, still do more numbers than your fate. You can eat but you can't say that I've been missing any place. Any fool, what it do? Moving quick, what's it move? Steps ahead cause I'm not working. Why you trying to catch a snooze? Keep it smooth. Athens is in short and treats for fans of Greek mythology. The way to the Acropolis is steep and you'll be walking on time on marble until you reach the flat summit. People spend lifetime waiting to see the Acropolis. It has classical landmarks built on a rocky outcrop above the city. The monuments here manifest great antique architecture. Considered the world's finest Doric masterpiece, the Parthenon will leave you astonished. If you're craving some magic and Hi. some sweets, you should come at Little Cookhouse. If you like Alice in Wonderland and have a sugar feast. Athens is a city with so much character. If you come here thirsty for knowledge, you will be humbled by the history of this city. The narrow alleyways and crumbling buildings will lead you to the most pleasant surprises. When in Athens you will find yourself situated in the heart of Greece, only 30 minutes drive away from the port in Piraeus, from where ferries run frequently to many beloved Greek islands. Join us on the next adventure as we take a ferry to the island of Paros to capture the essence of the Cyclades.